Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll review the G Keyboard Pro app for the Samsung Galaxy smartwatches versus the built-in keyboard. These keyboards will work pretty much the same for any Tizen OS smartwatch. So let's get started. If it's your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out the playlist app to find dedicated playlist for Samsung smartwatches with more detailed videos like this one. Be sure to check it out. So I purchased this G Keyboard Pro app from the Galaxy App Store for my Galaxy Watch 3 and the Active 2. And in today's video we'll see if it is worth to get it over the built-in Samsung keyboard or not. FYI this is not a sponsored video and this app will work on any Samsung Galaxy Tizen OS smartwatch. So let's start by showing you how to get it. You can search for G Keyboard on the Galaxy App Store and you will find this G Keyboard Pro app developed by Mobiteka. I hope I pronounced it right. This is not a free app. It cost $3.99 Canadian dollar. I already have installed it on my watch. By the way, if you like this bezel as well as the watch face that I have on my watch for styling up my Galaxy Watch 3, I've done a separate video for it linked up here and you can check it out once you're done watching this one. Now you'll find the app in the app menu of the watch. Once you open it, you will get two options the first one is to set this keyboard as default and the second option is to purchase extra like a t9 keyboard as well as additional seconds for speech to text recognition ranging from 10,000 seconds to 1000 seconds i think they should have included the t9 keyboard option built in for this app i'll show you later on during this video now you can switch between the default Samsung keyboard to this G Keyboard Pro from the settings. Go in general, then input. Here you will find the option to select default keyboard. Here you can switch between the default keyboard to any other third party keyboard you have installed like I have this Mobiteka G Keyboard. Let me quickly show you the Samsung keyboard first and then we'll come back to the G keyboard. That way you can compare them both. Going back in the input, you will also find keyboard setting where you will find input language, handwriting, smart typing, key tap feedback, reset keyboard setting and clear personal data. These options will be different for any additional keyboard you have installed. But here is where you will find options like predictive text, auto capitalize, auto punctuate. Well now let's go to the message app and start typing a message to see what options we get on the default keyboard. Now when you open the notification where you have option to reply, then this is how the options will look like. Keep in mind you will not get reply options if your watch is paired to an iPhone. Well let's start with the speech to text option for the built in keyboard. Please subscribe to my channel. So you can see the default keyboard is not that great at recognizing what I say precisely. Well, going back, the other option you get is emojis. Here is where you get a ton of emoji option as well as stickers. For stickers, you have to use the Bitmoji app on your phone to create custom Bitmoji and import them from the phone. But for the emoji, there is a ton of option and I bet you will find what you're looking for. Well, moving back, the last option is the keyboard where I have set the smart handwriting as my default. And I really like it as it is quite accurate at identifying what I write. Now to change the input method, just rotate the bezel to the right and you will get this classic T9 keyboard. To use this, you really need to have the muscle memory, which I have from using those retro keyboards from the Nokia phones. Now 
Next option is the number pad which comes quite handy. Next is special character pad. Next is emoji which you can access from the reply screen as shown earlier. And lastly it's the speech to text which I have shown you already. There are also canned default replies in case if you want to reply quickly which are under all the other options which I have discussed already. You can also edit the default replies by this edit response option. Now here comes the interesting part which is doodle where whatever you draw or write on the screen will be shared to the receiver as a multimedia message. And it's pretty cool way to reply in my opinion. So my personal favorite feature of this Samsung keyboard is the handwriting, doodle, T9, but I really don't like the speech to text option as most of the time it's not able to detect what I say. Now let's go back and switch the keyboard to G Keyboard Pro uh, from the settings. Now let's go to the message app and see what we get in reply options. The first speech to text option is the default one included with the Samsung keyboard. It's not the Gboard. We'll come back to that later. The emoji and sticker will be just about the same as discussed earlier. The default replies are also the same with the option to edit the def default response as well as the doodling remains still the same as shown earlier. What has changed though is the keyboard. Now instead of that T9 keyboard or handwriting option, you get this QWERTY keyboard with Google speech to text option at the bottom. Let's type something and see how it feels like. So two major things which I don't really like about this keyboard is that as you can see it's not precisely picking up what I want to write maybe because I have big fingers but as you saw having the predictive text option turned on really helps. And my major gripe is that I cannot see the entire message which is a bummer. You have to scroll sideways on the typed message to see what you wrote. There is an option to switch to special characters, numbers, emojis, etc. Which is helpful to have. Now finally let's try the Google speech to text for which you all have been waiting for. Please help my channel to grow by subscribing and check out more Samsung smartwatch videos. So you can see this is incredible despite of my accent. It was able to precisely identify what I was trying to say and that is what I really like about this keyboard. 9 out of 10 times it is correct at determining what I intended to say. I also end up using this keyboard more just for the fact that Google speech to text works like a charm despite of my accent versus you saw earlier that the Samsung's default speech to text engine is not even remotely close to what this has to offer. Now before I give my final verdict, let's see what options we have in the keyboard setting by going in settings, general, input. So you have the language which will be by default the system language, key tap to vibrate which is turned on in my case, key tap sound which is off as I find it's annoying. In smart typing you have auto capitalize predictive text which I have turned on and as you saw earlier it was really helpful. Under others you will find option to show the speech to text option to be displayed first over the QWERTY keyboard. Next is store where as shown earlier you can purchase the add-ons which I haven't. Lastly it's the data usage and info as well as privacy policy. 
So the choice is yours. My final verdict is that this is not a perfect keyboard, but boy, I can't resist to say that it's the best in terms of speech to text. I wish it had the T9 included, which I know most of the people don't care about. And I also wish they could have integrated the swipe keyboard. I know a lot of people use it. And lastly, the price to me seems a bit on the higher end for what you get. Will I use it over the handwriting option included in the default keyboard? Absolutely yes, as from a watch, I would rather enter information by speaking to it versus using my hand to write it down. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.